Hey guys, Kenny here. I'm here to review the 2008 historical thr war thriller of Valkyrie. This is about the failed assassination attempt on Adolf Hitler, uh, July 20th, 1944. The July 20th plot. And it was by Colonel of Klaus von Stauffenberg. He was the main, he was the leader of the the plot. And that's basically what this whole story is about. It's about Klaus getting off, getting various men that know Hitler uh, and work with Hitler on the and they get him on. They try to get them on the inside, and have him, have them give them intel on what go what's going on with Hitler, and then that uh, helps them on getting the Operation Valkyrie, and uh, in effect, the assassination of Adolf Hitler. Mm. I'm a little upset with myself that I never did see this in the theater, but I was able to see it. Uh, I saw it about a, a day or two ago, or tried to, and but now I finished the rest of it. And this is a very powerful uh, drama. It's more about the uh, it's more of a character story a character story than anything it's about character development and that was what I really appreciated about this this is really one of this is directed by Brian Singer who did X-Men X-Men 2 X2 X-Men United Superman Returns, The Usual Suspects, and Apt Pupil. Uh, this starred Tom Cruise, Kenneth Brana, and I know there's other people that I recognize in it. Bill Nye, Eddie Izzard, Terrence Stamp, and Tom Wilkinson. And they all played their characters with gusto, bravado, and it was beautiful watching them do their work. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more that I could really say about it, but it was, this was a beautiful piece of filmmaking. Really, in my opinion, this is probably Brian Singer's uh, best work since well, I want to say X-Men 2 but I th really think it's his best since The Usual Suspects and really do want the people that are working with Stauffenberg to succeed in this mission, but if we, uh, as if you do research on the July twentieth, nineteen forty four plot, you'll see that it was a failed attempt, and then every one of them that were involved in that plot were assassinated. Stat Klaus von Stauffenberg's wife passed away sometime in 2006 so I think all their children are still alive so I definitely recommend Valkyrie for nothing if for nothing else for the character development in it I thought the character development was uh, phenomenal I couldn't there was barely any character that I didn't end up feeling uh, 
sympathetic towards be, because of the, that person being involved in the plot because because of being all involved in the plot you're really putting your life your your um, your what your the uh, if you're a general or colonel or sergeant you're putting that on the line uh, yeah you're put and you're putting your family on the line putting putting your career on the line as well and it's really and it really was saddening when when it got to the end of the movie and you see that th it was a failed attempt and they were assassinated arrested and then assassinated well, I don't know if there's any I don't if there was anything I probably didn't like it was the, uh, I don't know if there's anything I didn't like I highly recommend Valkyrie to anyone who likes this kind of moot film but even if you don't I think this is an important historical film because I thought that it depicted all the characters flawlessly and a lot of the characters I know Tom Cruise uh, very much resembles von Stauffenberg when you see there's this famous pretty famous picture that has von Stauffenberg and then a one that has Tom and him kind of morphed together and then Tom at the end and it's and almost flawless he, it, there's almost no difference between them and I think there's there's pro the, the other actors probably look like the real people as well I think I've heard I think I heard that so I highly highly recommend Valkyrie so stay cool and roll out to the movies bye